I think uh, generally OTT uh, has not performed badly as expected. In 2018, when it was introduced, we collected revenue amounting to over 60 billion uh, Uganda shillings. And uh, for the next financial year, which was 2019-2020, we collected uh, revenue amounting to 100 billion. It was, of course, uh, below the expected target. Uh, but in 2020-2021, this financial year, uh, which hasn't ended, so I will not be in position to give a reconciliated uh, figure because it ended yesterday and new financial year has started today. So last financial year or this uh, ending financial year by May, we had collected around 50.2 uh, billion against a target of 50.6 uh, billion Uganda shillings. So that shows you that OTT has not performed uh, badly. It has given us what we wanted. However, I'm happy to note that the government considered the pleas from uh, the audiences or the public that uh, OTT should be scrapped because probably it was limiting access to internet and also limiting access to online services. So for that reason, government thought it wise in its wisdom to starting today that OTT would be scrapped for the next financial year and for that, for me, I think it's a good move on behalf of, uh, of the taxpayer and on behalf of, of Ugandans that OTT has been scrapped because that's what everyone was asking government to do.